I like never thought about making a switch or making a suspension bridge out of po like popsicle sticks and gumdrops. Okay, I'll hold it. There's not enough activities where the parents and kids do it together. There's a lot where you drive the kid to there and you sit there and that's it. But that teaches the kid how to do something. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily teach you to function as a creative family who tackles challenges together. Tonight we had our final family science night, which was a partnership between Herndon Middle School, Boeing, and our nonprofit partner, Iridescent. This is a five-week program. We had 10 to 12 engineers who paired together with 10 uh, parent volunteers and 30 families to engage in hands-on, really fun design engineering challenges. We, we really ranged from having kids build a robotic arm to designing suspension bridges to even tonight where they were literally building a burglar alarm and hacking into it. Right now I have it armed. If I try and take it off, see the red light goes off and that would theoretically be my buzzer if I had a buzzer installed. But okay, if I reset it, I rotate this so the green light comes on, no more red light and I can lift it right off. The best part about this program is that there is no engineering degree required. So parents really are there to help learn and along and really build and engineer with their kids. The, we bring, the company brings the engineers to the, the program to provide guidance and to help lead questions, but everybody has an engineer inside. It should go off. It's all right. All right. Two, three. Working with family members, you have to be patient and accept the <laughs> um, accept everyone's ideas, how, however crazy they may be. But you know, sometimes they work out amazingly. Okay, so this, so this is, is what, what, how it's supposed to look in the front. So the light, the light turns on. <laughs> <laughs> and this is it's it unarmed. when it's unarmed. All right. We I found that the, our end project was really great. Um, we did have a little bit of trouble. We felt like we weren't all putting the same amount of effort into it. At times, some of us were having trouble communicating our ideas, but. Actually, in the end, we all gave ideas, and they were mostly all used in the final project, so that was great. This is a really important uh, moment for Bo in Boeing's history. We turned 100 this year, and we really are looking forward for how we can invest in our communities and in our future workforce to get kids excited about engineering. And the best way to do that is to build programs that really bring the family into the conversation so that the kid is learning not only from educators, but with engineers and their parents right alongside them so that they feel safe and then it's an environment where they can really explore and persist through some at times difficult challenges.